back at it again. Opex, you're tuned in. Let's dive into it. Just waking up, kind of. Got the coffee going. So let me analyze my thoughts, and we're going to dive into it. This is a video that I've thought about for a long time, but I haven't really thought about how I'm going to actually make the video. I've just thought about this topic for a very long time. So let's dive into it. Artificial intelligence. Yep, we're finally doing it. We're making it. Where do I begin? Let's have another sip of coffee as I actually think how I'm going to make this video. Alright. Alright. Let's dive into it. I would like to start like this. I don't believe artificial intelligence is neither good or bad. I think just like anything, it's a tool. It can be used for good or evil, right? There's many applications for artificial intelligence just like almost anything else. Uh, it's not necessarily good or bad. Right? Like, I can have a pencil, and I can write things down. Those words could be good or bad. A pencil, I can also be like, fuck you and stab you in the neck. It could be used for evil. It could be used for good. Maybe, uh, artificial intelligence is that kind of thing as well. Like, you should look at it as such. It could, it's a tool. Um, if, like, my mind's going to be scattered on this, I should have thought about what I was going to say before putting this video on, uh, but I look at it like this. If we created life, I'm okay with them crossbreeding shit and doing shit. You know why I, I'm okay with them to fucking make hybrids and shit like that? I'm okay with that because you have created consciousness which would have never existed without that technology, without that intent. So I'm okay with that. I'm okay with artificial intelligence. You are creating something, now it may not be necessarily conscious or necessarily aware, but through sensories, uh, technology, you can simulate that. I'm okay with that. Uh, they came out less than a week ago with their AI robots. Yes, if you're not familiar yet, look it up. They got AI robots, and in the last three months or so, they have created AI robots to be magnificently better than three months ago. Uh, you can watch the video of them showing you, like, an AI robot. The guy says, hey, can you can you guess, like, where these dish dishes go? And the robot goes, yes. And can you put those dishes there? He picks up the dishes and puts it into the strainer. Uh, is there any food for me to eat? I'm hungry here. And the robot goes, yes. Grabs the apple and hands it over to the guy. Uh, so they're making leaps and bounds um, with AI. Now, you need to understand one thing, and that is AI is programmed. OPEX, how can it be AI if it's programmed? Isn't it its own intelligence, its own way of... Yes, they can come up with things outside of the programming. That's what creates the artificial intelligence. But it's programmed. Just like life forms are programmed. We are programmed not just going to school and, and learning and, deep, and, 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 and uh, downloading information in our brains. We are genetically coded. We are programmed. Uh, if, so us as species, as humans, as animals, as whatever life you can think of, is programmed. Physics changes the program. This would be even uh, non-life forms, rocks, whatever, right? 
physics changes the life form. Uh, gravity changes your, you know, your ability to grow at what rate, etc. Right? Uh, trees being able to grow in certain ways. Uh, too much weight on a limb, it'll fall over. You know what I'm saying? So there are different complications to create life, and uh, even not life like rocks, right? Like pressure makes diamonds. Uh, so. There are many aspects to the program, but to say that artificial intelligence isn't programmed anymore is retarded. Everything is programmed. So there is an algorithm. Uh, there is the internet. So a lot of the AI programming is brought to you by the internet, whether it's chat, GPT, or whatever, right? So a lot of people, now, maybe I'm going too far if I talk about that now. We're only like ten, six minutes into this video. So, I like AI. I don't even like calling it AI because as of right now, it's not actually AI. It's algorithms, essentially. It's algorithms applied to the format, the program. It's not really intelligence, right? It's not really that. So is it artificial? Sure, yeah, 100%. But is it intelligence? I don't believe so. I like AI. I like, you're ready for this one? OPEX likes AI. I thought he was that crazy conspiracy, uh, philosopher or whatever the fuck he is. I actually like AI. In fact, I like AI music more than I like the music nowadays. Crazy, right? Now, the music nowadays, especially in the higher echelons, the, uh, the mainstream, the pop music, the rap music, they all have ghostwriters. They all have beats given to them. They're not making the music, okay? If you're not familiar with that, just do a quick Google search. Uh, they have ghostwriters. They have people writing their shit, giving them beats. All they have to do is play their role and put sound to the, to the beat. AI music is essentially the same fucking thing. You program it. AI really isn't creating the, the full thing. What AI is doing is essentially like right now in its current state, maybe it's more advanced than I'm giving it credit for, but how I understand it, again, could be definitely wrong on this, is that people still have to intervene. They have to go into the, uh, the beat, create a certain beat, Let's say your AI artist would be Eminem, right? And actually, there's a Eminem AI album that I actually like. I like it way more than the actual Eminem. But anyway, what I'm trying to get at here is there's people that still have to create and, and, and edit lyrics. How artificial... Eminem is speaking, like in, in the raps, when to change different tonalities, it's still being altered. Does AI have a place right now, as is? I think it's fucking great. I can listen to AI Tupac 2020, uh, 2024 almost all day. I'm a huge Tupac fan, and to hear like the fake version of Tupac still rapping, it's kind of cool. It's like, it's kind of cool. It's not hurting anything. Uh, I do believe, without a shadow of a doubt, that this could be used for evil. Now, imagine someone, like for example, I have 400 something videos on this channel. Who knows how many on YouTube anymore? <laughs> they probably took down about a hundred of my, eh, maybe that's excessive, maybe about 80 of my videos. 
on YouTube, so I don't know how many I actually have, but I've definitely done more than 400 for YouTube and Odyssey. They can use all my tonalities, my voice, and then write down in whatever algorithm, whatever they want me to say, some outlandish thing. It can get me jailed. Oh, he's actually a terrorist. Listen to this. It can be used for evil, and that's the scary part. You don't actually know if somebody says something. Remember deep fakes? With AI, deep fakes have gotten even better. Technically, like deep fakes are almost indistinguishable from regular reality. People use this harmfully. Yes, for sure. But just like that pencil, and they're trying to give AI, or supposedly they're trying to make AI open, open to the public, free or cheap, essentially to give everyone access to it. Just like everyone has access to a pencil. Are you going around stabbing everyone with a pencil? You could. Are you? No. Most people aren't. Will there be people using AI for bad? Obviously. There's good, bad, evil, ugly, whatever you want to call it. There's the shit in the world. It exists. There wouldn't be good without evil. Um, so... We need to expect that when this gets in the hands of all people, that people are going to use it for both good and bad. Uh, they can use it for political agendas. Uh, not just like saying, oh, Donald Trump said this in 1999 or whatever, and then have an AI recording of him uh, that sounded like him back in 1999. And saying some outlandish shit, way worse than grab the pussy, which that's one of the coolest things I think I've ever heard a president say, even though he didn't say it as president. Grab her by the pussy. Be assertive. Be dominant. Be a fucking man. <laughs> you want to grab that pussy, right? Anyway, that's neither here nor there. Ah, fuck. This guy's not going to let me over now. He goes slow, and then now he goes fast. I fucking hate that. I can't go any faster, pal. Anyway. It could be used for good or evil. It could be used in many different instances, circumstances, etc. I like AI, I've said that. I've said in a video recently about uh, changing the transportation industry as a whole. Well, we're not going to be putting, and this is the future, are you ready for it if you haven't seen that video? We're not going to be putting tires, rubber, on asphalt no more. That's a fucking thing of the past. We're going to be on, essentially, rails and tracks. And because it's on a set track, we can use AI to navigate the track, whatever vessel you have on that track. You can transport goods without an engine and such. This is going to be the future. I, I've talked about it like I invented it. This isn't a new way of thinking. Uh, maybe I'm the first person I even know that thought like this. This is new to me, but I, I'm sure other people have thought about this and understand this is actually where it's headed. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. We're not doing flying cars, that's out of the fucking question. We're not gonna give everyone a fucking license to fucking hit each other in the air. That's retarded, and then landing, and that's retarded. Flying vehicles are not gonna happen. Even if we get the UFO technology, motherfuckers gonna be hitting each other. It's stupid, it's not gonna happen. You're gonna hit trees. Tires of asphalt, old, it's... Now you can use navigation systems in that sense you can we can use navigation in the sense of spinning the wheels turning the fucking making the accelerator go down 
But that's not the future. The future is actually the track where everything's on a track. Your vessel is going to be stuck on that track. You're going to plug in on the artificial intelligence navigation system, your lo uh, the location you're trying to go to, and boom, it'll get you right on, out on the road, out of your driveway, all on the track. No need for salting roads, no more accidents, no more murder, you know, like, no more motors, just no more tires. Just, that's a thing of the past, right? We're in the future now. Artificial intelligence is going to route you, take you, understand different routes in real time, faster than you can think, because it's artificial intelligence on the 5G, possibly even 6G network at that time. Uh, so what's going to happen is we're going to rely, everybody's going to rely on AI in, in the regular life. And that's just navigation. Now, AI is also going to eventually be part of the security. It's going to be part of security. It's going to be part of the robotic industry. Not just like you're going to have your own personal robot made, like in the Jetsons or some shit. Not just that. But you're going to program your lawnmower. You're going to program your uh, self-checkout. AI is going to be watching you, like on security, watching you, making sure you scanned all the items, you're paying for all the items. It's going to get there, and we're not far away from it. In fact, we can all, this all can be implemented right now, especially after I saw that they unveiled the robot and showed some of its flaws at the beginning to where it is now. And in three short months... So it's gonna take over. Um, it's gonna eventually flip the burgers at McDonald's. There's gonna be no more workers. Now, as somebody, I explained the transportation side of this and that what's gonna be implemented is gonna be UBI. There's gonna be many reasons for UBI, um, good and bad. But that's not in this video, but I'm just saying that, hey, the future's going to require UBI. With this technology coming in, it's going to require it. Um, I can dive in all day the reasoning why, how they're going to implement it, how I would implement it versus how they would. Uh, they're going to implement it quite, quite evil, like, like a Darth Vader character, achoo, Klaus Schwab. Uh, Bill Gates, George Soros, oh, Henry Kissinger. No. <laughs> uh, anyway, coming back. <laughs> anyway, so the future is AI. It's going to be a part of our reality. Now, these Elon Musk characters and these board members and these, there's people in high places, I'll just say that want to scare us about artificial general intelligence. I'm not scared of it. In fact, a year ago, this time, I was never scared of AI. That's like the least of my worries the whole time. But there were concerns. But it was my lack of understanding what AI is. Now I understand it a lot more. I'm not scared at all of AI or artificial general intelligence. They want to tell you there's going to be not only hiccups, but there's going to be huge disasters with AGI. Now, some of the people, like uh, this person went on, Lex Friedman, I forgot his name, he's part of the board team uh, for open... AI, GPT, whatever the fuck it is now. I don't even know what it is <laughs> with these words. Anyway, he's there saying that, yeah, I expected uh, everything to go haywire 
months ago, but it didn't. So I'm expecting it to be like that in the future. And I wanted Lex so bad to just be like, dude, ask the question, what's gonna go wrong? <laughs> what's the problem? But see, they're using our fear because we don't understand the thing. That's an easy way to be vaguely talking about something and then putting it in a realm of disaster. What it does is it strikes fear in the mind. You are not scared of things you understand, you are scared of things you don't understand. If you don't know the outcome of something, you are more fearful or nervous about it. Uh, so, they're vaguely telling us constantly to be scared. Uh, Elon Musk for years has said, oh, AI, uh, uh, the only thing you should be scared of, scared, you shouldn't even be scared. The only thing you need to be worried about is them using it for evil. Understand this, your job's going to be taken away. You're not going to have a job anymore. Find something that does not involve technology or artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence is already creating better music than the pop stars nowadays. Artificial intelligence is doing things that are better than you. Why do they need you? Self-checkouts are expensive in the short term, but in the long run, it's a lot cheaper than you. More effective, more productive, no need for breaks and all that bullshit, no need for supervisors. So, your job's gonna be taken away. If you're a truck driver, a cab driver, I've already talked about this, your job's going to be taken away. It's gone. See ya. You don't have 10 more years in this industry. They don't even want gas-powered vehicles on the road by 2030. Uh, good luck. And some people are talking about 2030 to everything's gonna go downhill. Uh, I'm gonna tell you right now, you have one more year. You don't know this yet, and I'm still not going to tell you on YouTube because I think that there's going to be people showing up at my door kind of thing with guns. Uh, so I'm not going to tell you what they're planning on next year, but maybe an Odyssey? I'm not even sure. Like, that's something that would scare me. I would think that they would try to murder me if I give you the, the inside scoop about what's going to happen next year. So I've decided not to talk about that. I'm just telling you, I know stuff, and you should be prepared for next year. I know that's vague, I know that's not philosophy. And I don't want you to take my word for it, but in the back of your mind, prepare, please. You know, uh, I just, again, don't want anybody, I don't want to die. <laughs> I like this life, I like this matrix. If you want to call it a video game or a simulation, I like this. Anyway, we're going off topic. They are going to change the future. The future is not going to involve you going to a warehouse, factory. Uh, they're not going to need retail people. Um, artificial intelligence is going to be able to read the human being a lot better than a human being reading a human being. Isn't that scary? Just think of the best CIA operative being able to read, basically read your thoughts. Now put that on steroids and, and uh, heightened levels of uh, unimaginable places. AI is going to be able to read you, read your characteristics, uh, download tons of data in real time, super fast, and then make decisions based on how you look. They're going to be able to do that straight from your TV. You see a commercial. It's gonna read and pick up all your, oh, your eyebrows go up, or, or your eyebrows go down, or they're gonna see when you do these things and they're gonna be able to market things to you. They don't even need a person to sell the product anymore. AI's gonna do it for it. Anchors on the news, no need for that anymore. With AI, we're gonna have AI anchors now. And you're gonna get so used to AI in your everyday life. It's going to happen. Um, so, in my opinion, don't be scared, be aware. It's gonna happen. Your job's gonna be taken from you. Once that is grasped, 
throw it out the window. UBI is coming because of it. There's pros and cons to UBI. I've been against UBI for many years. You can watch any video in the past from me. I'm against UBI, but it will have to be implemented. Uh, if technology, it's not if, as technology progresses, this is inevitable. We're gonna not require human labor in this context. Now they will require human labor, and that's a, something for another time. Based on, how do, how do I put this? Microsoft has a patent for 666. Watch my video on it. It's probably taking off YouTube, so go on Odyssey. Type in patent 060606 and then mind of OPEX. And I will explain to you what the fuck that is and what they plan on uh, using us for the future. Um, essentially, we're going to be awarded cryptocurrency or some type of monetary system value. And you're going to be rewarded that based on a task that's going to read your body heat, etc. Right? Like, this was technically patented and accepted and patented March of 2023, or 2020, March of 2020. So that's the future, and then uh, you add that with UBI, you'll be set. <laughs> You're not going to be as much of a tax slave as you are going to be an actual energy slave. So, artificial intelligence. Bottom line, the bottom line is it could be, it could be used for good or evil. Uh, it will be used for good and evil. Know that it is coming. Don't be scared. Be aware. Understand, or at least consider these circumstances. You're going to lose your job. It's going to be part of your daily life unless you're living under a rock somewhere. Um, whatever farmers we have left, we're not going to need. If we're going to have AI running all the machines, instilling the seeds. and the, It's going to be AI doing a lot of the work, uh, let alone just regular programmed robotics. They're all going to be replacing your job. Your job is going to be, you're replacing. It doesn't matter what job you're doing. Again, you could even be a pop singer. See ya. They got AI that's going to be able to do that within five years, 10 times better than you. In my opinion, it's already better than you. I mean, AI, Eminem is better than Eminem right now. Right now. Now imagine in five years. And AI's only been really implemented uh, for a very short period of time uh, at this level. And it's still learning and growing, and the people implementing it and creating this is, uh, they're all learning and growing as well. So, bottom line, I like AI. I like how it's being implemented, that it's open source. People like Bill Gates, Microsoft, even Elon Musk want to create their own AI and make it closed source. So understand there are evil powers that want to control AI. That should alarm you. But the implications of AI is not necessarily bad, and I want to stress that. It's actually good. Right now in Congress, they're trying to lower the work week. Now, they've been talking about this for years. But I think a bill just went through Congress trying to make you get paid for a 40-hour work week or that the wage of a 40 hour work week in 30 in three weeks or three what the fuck am I talking about four days 
So instead of a five day work week, you're gonna get paid for 32 hours in a four day work. I'm fucking this up. I don't know why my brain's getting all fucking scrambled. They wanna pay you for a 40 hour work week actually working a 32 hour work week. And with that said, you should understand that they're trying to get you out of the workforce. They've been more than just welfare and get you on disability and get you all on cancer treatments and out of work. They want to do more than just destroy America's economy. Because this is going to be the world. They've already implemented China is the world superpower when it comes to economics. Almost everything's going to be brought to you by China. And it's a way to control the world. If you think that China versus U.S. is a thing, it's not. It is not and never has been. It's in our minds that they have programmed it. But they are using China as a way of central control. They don't want exports from America and Thailand and insert any country. They don't want that. They want exports from China. And that centralizes their plan. And if you don't have a way of making external money, you are controlled. And you already know the labor in China is controlled. You already know about people trying to jump to their death uh, just because of working too many hours, doing, making so little amount of money, never getting laid. China sucks. It's probably one of the worst places in the world to live. And if the worst place in the world has the best fucking economy, What's that say? What's that say when we have a weaker economy? We're slaves. We're essentially slaves now, but you're going to be more slave. More enslaved, less money, less power. You will own nothing and be happy. They've planned this for a very long time. They've started making moves toward this for a very long time. Decades they've been doing this. Decades. Since, some would argue, the 60s. They've been implementing this. Now, I would say that even the League of Nations was a precursor to this, to create this. I would argue even for thousands of years, but we don't have to go down that route in an AI video. But what you need to know is that the world is going to change drastically in the next few years, let alone in a year. In a year, it's going to, everything's going to change. And it's going to be worse than what happened in 2020. And faster. So understand that. Understand that there are the fuck. Understand. <laughs> understand. AI is going to play the role of so many different things. I was trying to just generalize it, but it's going to play the role in so many things. It's your workplace when you're going out to purchase things. Uh, your music, the anchor on TV, uh, self-checkouts, whatever it is, everything, your navigation, your, your ability to go from A to B is going to be directed by AI navigation. Everything is going to be under this umbrella. So, get used to it, and I do strongly encourage you to start prepping and start being self-sustainable because a lot of us are not ready for what's coming 
they're not ready for AI, which is like, to me, nothing. That's like, it's gonna be the replacement for all of us. I mean, why, why would they pay anybody a large amount of money when some artificial intelligence that's open source, essentially free, is doing it for you for free? It makes no sense. It could be your marketing, AI marketing, AI this, AI that. Everything's gonna be AI. There's so many implications for it. So if you don't understand that now, you're gonna be taken by surprise when it happens. I don't have a job all of a sudden. You didn't prepare. If you are self-sustainable, off the grid, your own well water, rain collection, your own, I mean, this is what I'm planning on doing, because I know what's coming. So I want my own rain collection, well water, I want my own solar panels, uh, I want my own everything, everything to be self-sustainable. I want my own raised beds, I want my own chickens, my own uh, rabbits. I don't want any hiccups in my plan where I'm gonna have to rely on them for food, which is poisoned, not essentially food at all. Essentially, when you're relying on them now for everything that you're relying on them for, the farmer, etc., there's not gonna be farmers. That's gonna be AI. There's not gonna be people looking out for your best interest. They're looking at you for profit and they're gonna use you. So get into the mindset of prepping and controlling your future that you can control now because there isn't much time left. And even if I'm wrong about next year, everyone knows you only got until 2030 anyway. Everyone knows that. You got till 2030 if, for whatever reason, their plan next year doesn't happen, which I can't imagine it not happening because all of their stuff have been ahead of schedule. Anyway, I'm making this video way too long. I'm going off on way too many tangents. I could go off on way more tangents regarding AI and, and the implement uh, and the and the stuff regarding that. But this video is already taking too long. I wanted to make a video on AI. There you go. I like AI. I don't think there's anything necessarily wrong with AI, just like you can have a pistol could be used for good or evil. AI can be used for good or evil. Do not let it get in the hands of a closed system, a, a corporation that controls it, or the government, which is a corporation. Don't let Bill Gates get his grimy little hands on it. He already has his little grimy little hands on it. Uh, keep it open and fight to keep it open. That's enough for this video. I hope you understand what, what I'm getting at. I do want you, it's another video. Prepare now, prepare, prepare. There isn't much time left. AI's coming, prepare, because you're not gonna have a job soon. Prepare. Uh, yeah. So that's what I'm going to leave you here with. But don't be scared. Be aware. It's OPEX. Got plenty more information coming. Plenty more philosophical videos coming in the coming days, in the coming weeks, in the coming months. Uh, I'm probably going to be making videos until October or November, and then I'm done. I'm going to be totally off the grid. Off the grid. So I'll see you guys later. Prepare now. See you guys.